Bill Pallas says he's been running through the woods here for the last 30 years and just weeks ago found himself accidentally caught between a mama bear and her cub. These bears up here, these are wild bears. They're Bill has lived like in a home that backs suburban. up to the Pisgah National Forest for three decades now and he sees bears all the time. It's kind of like uh, the nature centers out here. Bill's a runner and he hits the trails near his home at least two to three times a week and he knows them like the back of his hand. But on Friday, July 7th. And I'm running kind of on the, you know, just below the ridge a little bit. And I've, you know, it's real steep land. So I, I come around like a hard turn, kind of on a, a little ridge. And I come around and here's a, probably a 20 pound cub sitting right there on the trail. You know, when you see a cub like that, there's usually a mom around. So I go and uh, I turn around real quick and, uh, and all of a sudden there I see the mama bear. The cub took off up the hill and the mama bear charged him. She stands up on her back legs and here's this head. Her head must have been the size of a basketball and, and it's right here and she t takes a claw and she right, rakes it across my face and chest. And Bill tried right, to hit the bear I, and know, ended and up with his point, arm I'm, in the bear's yeah. mouth. And that's all these scars are here. And then and she kind of knocked the end of my little finger off. He says the claws felt like razor blades going, going across his face. The bear him knocked him down on his back, back and he waited to see what was next. Back and thinking, yeah, we're, it's, all, it's on now. We're going to have a battle. Thankfully, the mama bear just wanted to get her cub and left him alone. I was running on adrenaline and shock, kind of. I get about 20 yards down the, the steep hill and I try to survey what's going on, you know, how bad am I? All I know is this blood is just gushing out of everywhere. Bill made it back to his home and his wife rushed him to the hospital. They brought in a special uh, a facial plastic surgeon, you know, because they saw I was all tore up on the face and he spent three hours sewing on me. And, and I just feel so lucky that I'm, you know, together. I mean, seeing these three inch claws, razor, I mean, I could see him that close to my face. It's just like, and I was saying, man, it's just surreal. Bill spoke with a district biologist about the attack. We've also reached out to the NC Wildlife Resources about what happened and have not heard back. I definitely have some wilderness street cred now. Because <laughs> how many people do you know have been attacked by a bear? And I asked Bill if he was going to be getting back on the trails anytime soon. And he says he already has and that he doesn't plan to let this attack stand in his way. In Asheville, Taylor Thompson, News 13.